bone access and approach to the pedicle. Define the incision area and find the pedicle. Place the jam sheeting needle into the pedicle under X-ray control. Place the K-wire. Laser mark tip goes inside the bone. Verify the K-wire position inside the bone. Remove the needle. The K-wire remains inside. Place the dilator over the K-wire. Check that the dilator tip is right on the pedicle entrance. Read the laser mark on the K-wire. Three fat marks for 40, 50, 60 millimeter from down to up. If the middle fat mark is at dilator's edge, then a 50 millimeter screw is needed. Remove the dilator. Insert screw into outer sleeve. Make sure that the tabs of the screw are in the right position to the grooves of the outer sleeve. Hold the screw with your hand on the thread and not on the tabs. Make sure that the tip of the hex screwdriver is locked into the screw properly before tightening. Then push the tightening wheel forward and turn it till it tightens. Apply the ratchet handle with the R side to the connection. Guide the screw, including the screwdriver and ratchet handle, over the K-wire and insert the screw by using the ratchet. Repeat points two and three until all screws are in place. By using the small thin Torx driver with laser marked scale on it, or by using the trial rod inside. Attach the MIS rod onto the rod holder. Place the rod holder upside down. Place the rod inside. The laser marked line on the rod must be positioned towards the handle. Turn the tightening pin on the holder first by hand, then tighten it with the screwdriver, hex tip. Insert the rod through one of the screw incisions directly between the screw tabs. Push the rod tip into the next screw tulip below the fascia. Placement of the nut. Place the self-breaking nut on the nut driver. Use any handle, ideally in straight position, to turn the nut inside the screw. Start first with the screws on the opposite side of the rod holder. Place the nuts into all the screws, except for the last one, where the rod holder is disturbing inside. Release the rod holder by using the screwdriver. Push the rod holder slightly back a few millimeters and pull it out. Place the last nut. All nuts must be hand tightened at this step. Final tightening of the nut. Use the nut holding driver and outer sleeve and counter torque and static T handle. Place the outer sleeve on the screw. Place the counter torque with hex loop onto the outer sleeve. Put the nut holding driver plus static T handle through the outer sleeve. Push the nut driver safely into the nut. Make sure you're completely inside the nut by pushing slightly down the T handle. Hold with one hand the counter torque and turn the T handle till you hear the click. Take out the nut driver and give the broken part of the breaking nut to the nurse. Proceed with the next nut in the same way. Breaking the tab. Use the tab breaker, also counter torque. Guide it over one of the screw tabs with flattened side to the skin edge. Make sure you pushed it completely down to the nut. Break the tab by a quick move to the lateral medial. Collect the broken tabs and make sure you have all four parts of each tab outside the patient.